Alright guys. I'm gonna be playing the Shiva. Um, I believe that this is the uh, kosher edition. Um, even, it's alright, I bought it on Steam and it just says the Shiva. But I'm almost certain that uh... I'm almost certain that it's the kosher edition even though it doesn't specify it. And give me one second, I have to lower the volume. <sighs> Thank you, Canner Kaplan. Today in my sermon, I'd like to discuss suffering. Why do bad things happen to good people? Wherever there is pain, or oppression, or poverty, the question is always the same. How could God let this happen? Is God as good as we think? Can he, in fact, do evil? Maybe, on occasion, he even enjoys inflicting pain. I... I think you're putting your friend over there to sleep. I... Can't do this. No. I can't do this. Oh, how cliche. Rabbi. You heard. Huh? What? Go home, Mrs. Raymer. Is it over already? Yeah. Rabbi Stone, wait! You can't just stop. Sure I can. Just watch me. But... It's over, Josh. You can't mean that. Look, you're a good kid. You've got a good voice and a good future. Don't let me hold you back. Now do a mitzvah and call Mrs. Raymer a cab. Hi. <laughs> Goodbye, Josh. Peace out, little homie. <clears throat> it's a nice little apartment. Well, no, I guess this isn't an apartment, maybe. I don't know. Services are canceled. Go away. Leave me alone. He's not very nice. Leave me alone, I said. Fine, I'm coming. Oh. Excuse me, I thought you were gonna go. I thought I told you to go home. Rabbi Stone, there's someone here. Tell him to get lost. There's no service tonight. No, it's a, a cop. Hmm? Ooh, Detective Senator, you Sam just Durkin. Have been what the fuck? Sam Durkin? Durkin? Could I talk to you for a few minutes, Rabbi Stone? Is there some sort of problem, officer? I'd just like to ask you a few questions. Fine. Josh, take a hike. Sam Durkin, so, huh? What can I do for you? I assume you're not here to convert. Are you familiar with a Mr. Jack Lauder? Sam Should Durkin was in the Blackwell games. I'm asking the questions, Rabbi. I mean, Lauder. it is the same uh, publisher, but it's just funny. Lauder. Maybe they're all connected. Lauder. Oh. You know him? Yeah. What can you tell me about him? He used to belong to this congregation. Used to. Used to. But not anymore? No. Left about eight years ago, I think. What's this about? Have you had any contact with him since? No, I haven't. Care to fill me in here? Do you read the papers? It's definitely the same. Uh, Sam Durkin. Who has the time? So, you're not aware, Rabbi Stone, that Jack Lauder has been dead for three days? Does that bother you? Should it? Answer me, Stone. No. So you and Mr. Lauder weren't. At close. least his name is appropriate. No, we weren't. What's the deal, the Durkin? Stone Cold I've guy. seen Lauder's will. He left you a significant amount of money. He left me money? 
Is this oh yeah, apparently joke? it's an achievement to just keep using with the, me, uh... detective? No, Why I'm not joking. Why even say that word? How much? I don't have the exact amount. Rabbinical? Rabbinical? It's the truth. Rabbinical? Whatever the fuck it is, the rabbi buckets, response. Let alone ten thousand dollars. And why is that, Rabbi Stone? He just wouldn't. Huh. I like how it's a this clock. This temple's tick in pretty tick sad tick shape, tick. isn't it, Rabbi? Well, you're not blind, that's for sure. Can well, this room looks damn nice. Bad? I... Do I look like I can afford it? I'm just asking. Oh, you're just asking? Well, I'm going to ask you to leave. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Rabbi wow. Stone. Get out of my office. This guy's a listen. dick. No, you listen. I know where this is going, and I don't like it. I'm just doing my job. Yeah, you're a real mensch. Get out of here. Fine. I'll leave, Rabbi Stone. But I'll be back. Yeah, I bet you will. Like the Terminator, he'll be back. Putz. Ugh. Why can't he read this shit? Yes, I'm that lazy. I guess this is definitely before Blackwell. Sam, if I remember, Sam Durkin has a little bit more color to his hair in this one. Wow, Rabbi, what was that all about? It's by you shutting the fuck Didn't up. Didn't I tell you to go home? Come on, Rabbi, I have to know who was killed. Josh, what did I tell you about listening at my door? I wasn't, Rabbi, honest. You were just... very loud. Huh. So who was killed? Was it that lauder guy? Now slap him! Do you think so? Yeah. Who else could it be? I heard you talking about him. Ugh, I don't like this guy's voice actor, this little kid. Very well, he's not a kid, I guess. Well, yeah. I mean, kind so of is. who is he? An old member of this congregation. Ah, that's too bad. Yeah, well, it happens to the best of us. Are you going to pay a shiva call? I don't think there will be a shiva, Josh. Why? Shivas are for Jewish families. Just forget it. Alright, if that's what you want. I guess I'll go now. Okay, yeah. bye! Good night, Cantor. Night, Rabbi. Shouldn't you have asked him what your computer password was? Has God answered my prayers? I don't like it. Not one bit. Why, Jack? Why me? Why now? a call. I can't just barge in unannounced, but I can pay a shiva call. 
It's the only way. Whatever, time to leave. I like that I can do this. There's no phone. Oh, I need a clue. Your password clue is busybody. Me. Damn it. I like how this guy's hot mail, cheap mail, huh? <coughs> Is there anything I know from the Blackwell games?
Yeah. This is just like a rework of Emile's room from Blackwell. This is Lauder? Yes. I heard about your husband. I came like, to pay my respects. His setup was a little oh. bit different, but you it's the same thing. The weird mm -hmm. windows. Some time ago, yes. All right. The only difference is Come I think in Blackwell, in. like the this was all bl uh, greenish. It was like a greenish hue. I'm sorry. You look so familiar, but I can't place your face. What is your name? My name is Rabbi Russell Stone. Your husband used to be a member of my congregation. Oh, I remember now. You have a lot of nerve coming here. Well, I'm sorry about that. Oh, you're sorry, are you? I'm so glad to hear that. Jack would love to hear that you are sorry. He knows already, Mrs. Lauder. Too late, Rabbi. Too late. What do you want? Yeah, this escalated very quickly. I just want to talk about Jack. Talk? Just came by for a friendly chat? Is that it? I... Oh, stop it. Just stop it. I don't believe this. You threw us out of your temple eight years ago. And now you drop by for a visit? It wasn't like that. Well, what was it then? Can you tell me that? Maybe this was a bad idea. Maybe you're right, and yet you're here. Why? Why did you send the police after me? What? I did no such thing. What did they say? That I'm suspect number one. Really? Well, that would make sense. Bitch. Who else has a motive except for the rabbi who hates us? I don't hate you, Mrs. Lauder. Whatever. Jack hated you. That's enough. Mrs. Lauder. Yeah, Jack hated me, then why did he leave me, me that much so money? Much, why did he leave me $10,000 in his will? That's impossible. I said the same thing. Jack wouldn't do that. It's a crazy world. How do you know for sure? The police told me. I have no love of the police, but I doubt they'd lie about that. Mrs. Lauder. If Jack hated me so much, why did he give me so much money? I... I don't know. This makes no sense. None of it does. Who would kill Jack? He was a good man. Yes, he was. Don't you start. You have no idea. <laughs> the police have no other leads? Aside from you? No. How did he die? I don't see how that's any of your business. I... well... I suppose I'm curious, and I'd like to help. Help? Why would you want to help? I don't know. Maybe I... Maybe I'm looking to make amends for what happened eight years ago. Pfft. Why not? Why shouldn't a rabbi play at being detective? You want to investigate, Rabbi Stone? Be my guest. I'll have to ask you some questions about what happened. Can't you just ask the police? They won't talk to me. I'm a suspect. Fine, fine. Ask whatever you want. How did Jack die? He was shot right in the head, at close range, according to the police. I, I'm sorry, Mrs. Lauder. He was in the showroom, working late. That's all I know. What business was your mm -hmm. husband in? We were in business together. Fashion design, high-end casual wear, shirts, blouses, slacks. I'd design and he'd sell. How are you holding up, Mrs. Lauder? Fine. As well as can be expected. You've covered up the mirror. Yes, it's what you are supposed to do, right? Well, yes, but... I know. I'm not Jewish. I'm probably doing it all wrong, but it feels right. Is it right, Rabbi? It's perfect. Thank you. What is the name of your business? Charming Fashion Company. Charming? Yeah, it's a strange name, but it has meaning behind it. It's based on my family's name, Sharma, and it sounds like charming. I get it. Real cute. Yeah. 
electrocute my ass. Where is your showroom? Why? Do you want to have a look? It can't hurt. Oh, this is crazy. Do you really want to do this? Yes. Sure, if you want to have a look, go ahead. Just because trained police officers couldn't find anything doesn't mean a rabbi can't. The building is 1407 Broadway, room 903. Was the business successful? We did all right. It was tough at first, but things have been picking up over the last few years. We sell to mainly boutique stores, but Macy's has bought several pieces from us, and Sachs was interested. And what happens to the business now? Are you going to run it by yourself? I guess I could, but not right away. And definitely not in that same showroom. I can understand that. Can you tell me about your company again? Sure. What do you want? Oh, yeah, no, right, never I'll mind. see what else I can discover. Thanks. <coughs> I guess. Bitch. Rabbi Stone? Yes? About eight years ago, could you just tell me why? Were you and Jack happy? Yes. Yes, we were. Then my reasons don't matter. How odd. What an odd man. I don't know. Jesus Christ. I'll have to Google that or something. Yeah, Tomo's still at it. So he tried to email me but spelled it wrong.
JDM. Joe DeMarco, maybe? <laughs> it reminds me, the, the noise reminds me of um, Age of Empires. Alright, so I've got some googling to do, or whatever the hell this is. the other place Beth Tivka? Oh, I can't pull that up right there. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Shit, what was his name? Jack something. I don't know if I'm spelling that right. Tikva. Yes? You're the chief rabbi here at Beth Tikva. I do carry that honor. So, what can I do for you, Mr... Uh... Rabbi, actually. Rabbi Stone. Well, fancy that. I can always spare time for a fellow rabbi. What brings you to our humble synagogue? Do you know Mr. Jack Lauder? Should I know Mr. Jack Lauder? Don't you think you should know Jack Lauder? Why do you think so? Wasn't he a member of your congregation? Was he? Don't you know your own congregation? Am I expected to know everybody? Well... Are you finished? I guess. Wonderful. He was only a member of your congregation. He died a few days ago. 
That's right. The funeral service was yesterday. I honestly don't know where my head is. It's these up days. your ass, buddy. You conducted the ceremony? Yes. His wife insisted on it. <coughs> Did she now? If I may ask, what is your interest in Mr. Lauder? Aren't all matters of our flock our concern? Uh, well, not every matter. But still, we do what we can, don't we? Is there anything you can tell me about Mr. Lauder? I'm afraid not, Rabbi Stone. My congregation is rather large, and Mr. Lauder seldom attended services. I'm sure I don't need to tell you what that's like. You certainly don't. Are you familiar with an Ethan G? Ethan G? Is that his name? Just an initial, as far as I know. Ah, well... Nothing leaps to mind, I'm afraid. Does the name Joe DeMarco mean anything to you? DeMarco? Yes. Sounds Italian. Other than that, it means nothing. Sorry. Good night to you, Rabbi Zelig. Good night to you, Rabbi Stone. Balls. Was it Kenny Lou? What if that guy's last name is Goldberg? Say Ethel. What was it, Goldberg? Damn. Oh, I spelled it wrong. And he's dead. Hill, Patty O'Hare, Pub. Mm. Well, it's an Irish pub. No, <laughs> I do not use the bathroom. I just saw a stripper when I first read it. It's not coming up the wall without a stripper. 
Yo, if that is Rosangela Blackwell, I will fucking hit Excuse the floor. Excuse me. Hello? Oh no, it's, it's, this takes Hello? place way before that. But that's definitely like her character model. Excuse me. I'm looking for information on Ethan Goldberg. He was killed outside of this bar. Do you know anything about it? Do you know him, Mr. Jack Lauder? I'm looking for information on Joe DeMarco. Maybe I can at least ask his wife or something about uh, the accountant. Oh, whoops. Mrs. Lauder. Oh, it's you. Come on in. Have you ever heard of the name Joe DeMarco? Joe? Joe. Joe. Yes, I've heard of Joe. He was one of our first investors. He invested in Sherman? Yes. Why did you need an investor? Well, we didn't have much money to start the business with. All the banks saw us as a poor risk, so we needed independent investors. Have you ever met Joe? Jack handled the money stuff, although I know Jack didn't like him. Why not? He didn't say, he just didn't like him. But we were desperate, so we had no choice. How did they meet each other? I think they were introduced. At the temple of all places. At temple? So Joe DeMarco is Jewish? Maybe. Why? DeMarco is not a very Jewish name. And that's important to you, is it? Not to me, no. But it's certainly significant. Do you know anything about Ethan G meeting up with Joe DeMarco? I'm afraid not. If they met, I'm sure it had something to do with the business. Ethan was our accountant, and Joe was our primary investor. Although I have no idea what they'd want to talk about. Do you know an Ethan Goldberg? Oh, Ethan Goldberg. Yeah, I know him. Who is he? An accountant. We used him to handle taxes and complicated documents for the business. Not full-time, just on a consultant basis. Wait, is he involved in this? Not anymore. He's dead. What? Since when? About a week or two ago. Murdered. My god! What is happening? That's what I'm trying to figure out. You really think Joe DeMarco is Jewish? I told you. I have no idea. I'm going to leave now. I'll see what else I can- Thanks. Yes? Did a Joe DeMarco ever belong to this temple? DeMarco... That's hardly a Jewish name. I know. Although, it's difficult to say. As I told you, it's difficult to keep track of individual congregation members. He was an investor in Jack Lauder's company. Does that mean anything to you? I don't know. 
Should it? No, I suppose not. I was hoping you could tell me something about Ethan Goldberg. I know he used to work here. Ethan? Oh, what a tragedy. That man did wonders for this community. It's a shame what happened to him. You know about his death? Of course. I conducted the funeral service myself. I recently found out that Ethan Goldberg and Jack Lauder did business together. Really? I'm not surprised. Ethan offered these services to many people. He was a whiz with an adding machine. So I heard. Do you know anything about Ethan G. meeting up with Joe DeMarco? In all honesty, I have no idea who Joe DeMarco is. So I'm afraid the answer is no. Doesn't any of this strike you as odd? Should it? Two Jewish men, both in business together and both belonging to the same synagogue, are killed within two weeks of each other. A third man, who may or may not be Jewish, is nowhere to be found. There are only two connections between these three men. One is Jack's business, the other is this synagogue. Rabbi Stone, I hope you're not suggesting anything... I'm not. Let me finish. People all over the <laughs> world use religious communities to network and conduct business. This is nothing new. You know this, Rabbi Stone. If there is a connection, it has to do with their business dealings and nothing to do with Beth Tikva. I won't stand for our reputation being tarnished. Do I make myself clear? As crystal. I'm glad we understand each other. Now, if you'll excuse me, it is rather late. I understand. I'll see myself out. Wait, let me give you my card. <laughs> we pissed somebody off. At least he threw us out nicely. Feel free to email me if you have any more questions.
So this rabbi probably killed them. Him and Joe. <laughs> Rosangela Blackwell. So that's cool that they're kind of tied. I wonder which game came out first. But this is definitely, I think, before. This has to be before the legacy, though, because I think in the first game of the Blackwell series, I think she's already done with the Village Eye. This son of a bitch. Evening. Yeah? So what's your name? Look, could you leave me alone? Do you know Joe DeMarco? Sure I do. That's my name. Really? Yeah. What of it? You're a hard guy to track down. Well, yippee. You found me. What do you want? Do you know Rabbi Zelig? What's a rabbi? His full name is Amos Zelig. Nope. Sorry. What's your beef with Ethan Goldberg? <laughs> Never heard of him. Your name appears in connection with his. Lots of Ethan Goldbergs. Lots of Joe DeMarcos. Both are common names. You got nothing, so leave me alone. No. Ethan was killed just outside of this bar. Coincidence. You still got nothing. What's your connection with Jack Lauder? Don't know him. Sure you do. He wrote you a number of checks. Whoever he wrote them to, it wasn't me. Your name is on the checks. Then it's some other Joe DeMarco. Get out of here. Your name comes up yet again, Mr. DeMarco. This time in several emails addressed to Rabbi Zelig. So? So what's the deal? It wasn't me. <laughs> it was another Joe. Can it? Sing another tune, because I'm sick of the old one. 
It's enough evidence to book you if I choose to go to the police. So are you gonna tell me what's going on? Fine. You wanna talk? Let's talk. But not here. Follow me. Come on, Rabbi. We'll have more privacy down here. You've pissed off the wrong people, Rabbi. I had no problem with you, but now I gotta kill you. I see. You're an assassin. What a cheesy grin. I had a feeling you were smart. Oh, it Your people are in this very, there. very deep. My people? You mean the Jews? The a very Jews. cozy operation. What sort of operation was this? Don't think I'll be doing that. Professional courtesy. Say goodbye. You think I'll go so easily? Don't make me laugh, old man. Do you really think you'll get away with this? I've been getting away with this since I was 12 years old. How does a 12-year-old commit murder? Same as anyone. Someone asked me to, so I did. Do you do everything people ask you to? If the price is right. to you? Why are you so angry? Stop asking me these stupid questions! I am what I am, alright? Yeah, well, they... Why are you being so defensive? I am NOT being defensive! Are you hiding from something? What? No! What the hell are you talking about? Are you hiding behind that knife? I... well... NO! Care to prove it? What? Go on. You don't need the knife? Prove it. Or are you nothing but a nebbish? The you fuck is a nebbish? A bitch. I don't need a knife to take your sorry ass. Heh. <laughs> Old man, you're funny. You think your god's going to help you out of this? Perhaps. Perhaps not. <laughs> but my four years on the B'nai B'rith Yeshiva High School boxing team will even the odds. What the hell, man? Perhaps you didn't hear me the <laughs> first time. My dude's got some moves. <laughs> now do I have your attention? Let me go, man! You have two choices. You can answer my questions, or I throw you onto the tracks. What? You're crazy! Am I? Train's coming. Make your choice. Fine. Fine! Who sent you? I... Answer! Zelig! Zelig? <laughs> He's hooked in deep with the mafioso. I knew it. Did you know that? He'd find struggling businessmen, like your friends Jack I and I knew Ethan, that Rabbi was involved. Then up with investors. Investors? Mafia he definitely investors. didn't have it on his face. He got them involved with the mob? Yes. He got them in debt so deep they needed a tractor to pull them out. When they refused to pay, I was called in to take care of them. So you killed Jack Lauder and Ethan Goldberg? Yes. I see. Well, one question remains. What should I do with you? Just let me go. Well... Well, show mercy. Perhaps you still have some purpose to fill. I've done all I can. I've yeah, we're not mercy. gonna be murderers. The rest is up to God.
Nobody's here. Hello? Mrs. Lauder? Rod Shree? Hello? Oh no. Well, I'm glad there's more apartment behind that wall. Bastard. Jack, I'm sorry, Jack. As a man, I wished you all the happiness in the world. But as a rabbi, as a religious leader out of duty, I could not accept it. Can you understand? Jack! Jack! Forgive me, Jack. I'm sorry I cast you out. I'm sorry my actions sent you down this path. I... I... Get a hold of yourself, Stone. This isn't your doing. Zelig. Let's go kick his ass. Enter. Rabbi Stone, how good of you to come. You didn't leave me much choice, Rabbi Zelig. That's not entirely fair. You could have walked away. I made a commitment. And you're so good at those, aren't you? Tell me what you want. I only want this, Stone. You're going to walk over to the balcony. Take a nice long look at the view. Enjoy it. It costs a bundle. Then, when you've thought carefully about what brought you here, you're going to jump over the edge. And why would I do this? How about to save her life? And if I refuse? shoot her, then you, and throw you both off the balcony. I'd prefer to avoid complications, but it's the same to me either way. You think you'll get away with this? You have no idea what you're messing with, Stone. This goes way beyond you or me. I don't claim to see what lies beyond. All I see is a man charged with leading his people, but instead leads them to their deaths. It's not that simple, Stone. It never is. Pull your head out of the clouds and take a look around. This is how the world works. So, are you going to jump? Or is this going to get messy? Fine. Alright. You win, Zelig. You hold Maybe all the Maybe we cards. can just throw him off the balcony. Good boy. He can be taught. Start walking. Now, open the door, Stone. Wait, there's one more thing. Why do you want to do this, Rabbi Zelig? Zelig! You! You son of a... DeMarco, you idiot! It's not enough you bungle your assignment. You show up here? Did anyone follow you? I want my money! You want what you deserve? Fine. What? Are you going to say he didn't deserve it? He certainly served his purpose. Now, move! All this bloodshed sickens me.
I... Kenneth Stone, you're on the edge. Now die with dignity and jump! I... Nothing you can possibly say will change things, Stone. Well, what are you waiting for? I... Nothing you can possibly say will change things, Stone. Just admiring the view? Yes, it is nice, isn't it? Having a change of heart? Well, make up your mind! Your bravado is irritating. Now, jump! Ugh. Your capacity for pain is indeed impressive. I'm almost tempted to watch you bleed where you stand. But time is short. Now jump or die. Well, what are you waiting for? Just admiring the view. Yes, it is nice, isn't it? You, you momzer! You are a nothing! How the hell are you gonna fucking What's fist fight him? You think you can knock me out? You got shot in the arms. Punks? I am Amos Zelig. I've spearheaded the strongest Jewish synagogue in Manhattan for over 30 years. Who are you, little rabbi? Is this how a rabbi acts? This is how the world acts. You call yourself a Jew? You call yourself a hero? Is all this worth your soul, Zelig? I'm not giving up my soul for anything, Stone. Is all this worth your life? Are you happy with this life, Zelig? Yes. Are you? Who do you think I am? Those tricks won't work with me, Stone. I've been playing that game since you were knee-high to my tukus. You <laughs> think you can out-rabbi me? You really call yourself a Jew? You really call yourself a hero? How can you face God knowing what you've done? God knows more than anyone how the world works. I'm sure he understands. Okay, I think I get it. Are there others like you? More than you can possibly imagine. really think a rabbi acts this way? I told you, Stone. This is how the world is. No, I think he's gonna Get punch used me to now. it. Why don't you just give up? Why don't you just die? <laughs> you don't fear for your soul, Zelig? I fear nothing. Do you fear for your life? Are you ready to die? Are you? Damn it. You really think a rabbi acts this way? I told you, Stone. This is how the world is. Get used to it.
You really call yourself a Jew? You really call yourself a hero? You really think God will understand your actions? God knows what is necessary. I'm sure he understands. Are you ready to meet God, Zelig? I'll meet God in my own time, Stone. But not yet. Really think you can win this fight? You think you can shut up? Last chance. You want to give up? No. Do you want to die? How can anyone respect you? Power breeds respect, Stone. But you've never had either, have you? Are you ready to meet God, Zelig? I'll meet God in my own time, Stone. But not yet. You really think you can win this fight? Do you think you can stop talking long enough to throw a punch? How can you live with yourself? With power, respect, and money, I manage quite well. People really respect you after all this? I already told you, Stone. Power breeds respect. But you wouldn't know what that's like, would Damn, you? Damn, he's gonna punch me. No, he's not. Just how many others are there? As I said, more than you can possibly imagine. You know, I uh, I fight pretty Selig, well for a guy that like over. had both what his arms shot. What do you have to say for yourself? Mazel tov, Rabbi Stone. I applaud you. To have come this far, you certainly are resourceful. Just what are you saying, Zelig? I do remember Jack Lauder. Very well. He came into my office eight years ago, looking to get married. It seemed that this Zionist, pig-headed rabbi was against it. Oh, the things he said about you. Imagine my surprise when you showed up in my office. Yeah, I bet you were shocked, all right. I've done some checking up on you. In all these years, you've never learned to make concessions. Concessions? Concessions? The Jewish people are slowly becoming extinct. For thousands of years, we've struggled to keep our place on this planet, and you talk of concessions! As a rabbi, I do everything I can to help. And if that means refusing to conduct an interfaith marriage, then so be it! I can still look at myself in the mirror and call myself a rabbi. What are you, Zelig? You're nothing but a common criminal who consorts with gangsters and assassins! We all have our place in the big machine, Stone. And you? You're just a tiny, squeaky wheel. Now be a good cog and just let me go. I know you don't have the guts to throw me over. Knock him out. So, it's over? It's over, Mrs. Lauder. We'll leave Rabbi Zelig for the police. You're... you're hurt. You're bleeding all over. It'll be okay, Mrs. Lauder. Okay? You were shot. It's all right. Let's just get out of here. Well, all right. If you say so. <laughs> like a boss. Are you sure you're okay? I'm fine, Mrs. Lauder. Call me Raj, please. After all this, I think you deserve it. But we're going to the hospital, and no argument. Sure. Ah.
Hatzai Melech Shemoni Kra. Thank you, Cantor Kaplan. Is it only in the aftermath of pain that we are justified in questioning God's fairness? Just how much pain must occur to legitimately raise the question, why do bad things happen to good people? Just how much pain? God might not seem fair, we may not always feel connected to him. That is, we may feel lonely, and often do. Yet the underlying reality of our lives is that we are always connected, whether we feel it or not, whether we accept it or deny it. The connection is there. And since we are connected, we are responsible. Battling for goodness is how we give our lives meaning. Maybe there are no answers. Ultimately, we may never find that elusive truth. Yet ultimately, we may find something else. Meaning, significance, and fulfillment. If so, that may be enough. Maybe. So that's it, huh? Can I just skip through the credits because I don't care? My name is Rabbi Stone. <laughs> it's been a while. Hi, but here I am. Stay. I'm doing all right. That's right? yeah, okay. It's no, no great shakes as they go. <laughs> it's up in the old Torah. Right that's right, rocking the mezuzah. <laughs> Rockin' the mezuzah. Alright, well, that's another game down. Uh, I think I'm going to take uh, a little break and then start on the next game. i got to figure out um, what I'm going to play. I don't know if I'm going to co-op uh, Gears of War Judgment or Halo yet. But, uh... Anyway, like I said, I'm going to take a quick break, figure out what we're going to play, and start setting up for the next game. Thanks for watching. <laughs>